Well, hello, YouTubers. I hope everybody's well. Okay. All right, now, still uh, working on this uh, beautiful uh, Yesu FT101. Not the E, this is the 101. Very highly regarded unit. Very. Okay. I like the 101. Look, the 101 E is good too, but my favorite is the 101. All right. I've got one of these. And uh, we're going to get it working. Which it's still being worked on. Okay. Received the kit from Hobby Elf. Beautiful kit. I've done a lot of work on this unit. Okay. The filter caps have to uh, be replaced. Now he asked me, Hobby Elf, he asked me, look, you know, um, for this kit, I'm going to send you the... Um, the caps, right? 500 volts rating, as they are here. All right, but uh, 150 UF. I said, no, 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 no. I said, okay, let it go. Don't worry about the uh, 150, just send me the 100s. So he did. So that's the 100 UF at 500 volts. You can put 150 there. By all means, you can. There were... They're more uh, longer cap, all right? But these are short caps, okay? And that's all there is to it. I just wanted to try these, that's it, okay? He has supplied me the uh, 150 before. Very happy, fantastic, all right? But, you know, I just asked him for, you know, basically, you know, I like to keep things original. That doesn't mean you can't use the 150, UF, 150 UF at 500 volts. No, no, you can. It's not going to make any difference. But, because this transformer can take that. It's not a problem. This tra this big boy can take it. All right? Not a problem. But I just wanted the 100. Okay, so cut to the chase on that one. Okay, so that's done. Replaced, um, the, it's got a short. Okay, make sure you replace them, these people. All right, make sure you replace them. All right, I'll replace them. Uh, let me have a look. Okay, all right, here you go. Replace them with uh, this little beauty. Okay. All right, and yeah, replace the caps there. All right, there's a... Oh, where is it? Where is that? Where is it? And there it is. There's another one there. Axle caps. Two axle caps here. Alright. Alright, replace that. Basically what's what's in the kit. So, so make sure you replace this. Very you have to. That's all there's to it. Even if you haven't got a tester, all right, you need to replace these, all right? I always replace these. No, it does a, it does a fair bit of damage, this. All right, not much, but it does, okay? All right, that's all the caps. Still doing more. Um, we've got to do more, so just to show you, okay? Now, look at that. So this one here, 22 UF at 250. This was on this board, okay? All right, okay, which is, I still have to check those diodes, but this, this is the actual caps that I replaced them with. These large caps were these. All right, so I've got to clean the board. 
Make sure you clean it from the flux. All right. Resolder all the uh, all the pins, which I, I'm going to. All right. Inspect it for cracks, whatever. Need to bias uh, this board. Sometimes you can get away with it, but I always want to bias it to factory specifications. That's why I like to keep the original, okay, components. All right, so this one red, uh, this is all Panasonic. I think it is, I think it's Panasonic. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I'm not too sure what they used, but anyway, they look like Panasonics. Did a fair bit of these, I did probably about 20 of these units. Uh, I did the E's and the, um, and just the plane without the E. Okay, 101. Yeah, you see 101. Okay, now. All right, so basically, um, 22 UF, uh, it read, I write it down, it read 65 UF. ESR was too high. Okay, all right, all right, just to let you know, let me show you, I want to show you, I want to show you something here. That's why I say, replace the capacitors. I do not care, people. You need to replace the capacitors on these units, even on high five. okay? All right, make sure you replace the caps. All right, look at this beauty. Now, this one here, 22 UF, dead, short, and it wouldn't even read nothing, not even voltage, 160, not even the voltage, was dead, but th okay, but this one, next to it, same cap, red, okay, 120 UF, at 160 volts but the 160 volts would not go up to 160 it go up to 25 volts okay so okay look at that look at the leakage replace them yeah look with high quality caps don't use like you know ching tong ming tong ding ding tong tong you know whatever my god Get the proper caps. Nichicon, Elna, Rubicon, my favorite, Rubicon. I've used a bit of Rubicon on this. Okay, Rubicon, I used Nichicon, and I used Elm. So there's three caps in this in this uh, big boy. Okay, three manufacturers. Okay, use made in Japan. And I uh, was watching every day on YouTube. Very good guy. Again, this is a different guy, but very good guy. And uh, I was watching his repair on an amp. Beautiful amp. Just high end. Okay, it was a Yamaha. But, you know, he made a comment, which I didn't like. Oh, you know, he goes, oh, you know, Mauser and all that. You know, but he didn't say where they're getting from. Their caps. I know. Thailand and China. Malaysia, whatever. And I think Indonesia too now. They're starting to manufacture cheap caps. All right. Branded, but cheap, cheaper caps. Okay. If they're branded, that's fine. But the quality is not there. So that's why the manufacturers, like Rubicon, uh, uh, Nichicon and all that, all the Japanese manufacturers on caps go to these countries, but lower grade, not high grade as the ones are made in Japan. Get that through your head, people, you know, because I get a lot of questions, emails sent to me about this. I'm just sick and tired of repeating myself. If you cannot get made in Japan, which they're hard to get because you need contacts, okay? Like Hobby Elf, like myself. But Hobby Elf gets quantity. He buys by the millions, okay? He's probably got, you know, one, just just give you an example, one UF at 50 volts, okay? 
which he supplied me with this, Nichicon. Okay, he's probably got 1 million caps on that. Okay, he buys quantity. I don't. I buy small, like 50 and all that. And Japan won't supply me if I buy small in some category. In some category, that's why I have to go to Hobby Elf to get my caps. Because he, he will. Like, if I need 10 UF at 50 or 10 UF at 16, whatever, or 100 UF at uh, 50, he'll give me probably, he'll send me 10 or, you know, I have to order at least 5 or 10, okay? So, oh, excuse me. Yeah, so I have to order that, okay? Because he, he's got millions of them, okay? He's got millions of caps. He's unbelievable. Okay, so, get made in Japan. But there's no harm in getting, look, branded, made in Malaysia, and, uh, but not China, sorry, not China. No, Malaysia, Indonesia, I don't know nothing about, but Malaysian caps, they're good. They're all right, they're okay. They're lower grade, but look, they're okay. All right, I don't use them. Taiwan, fantastic, beautiful caps. I'd rather trust the Taiwanese on their capacitors because they use high quality material, okay, than, than made in Malaysia or China, okay. I'd rather go there, right, but they've got them in their brand, Taiwanese brand, okay. They're very good, you know, Hobby Elf, he supplies them as well. He's got contacts in Taiwan. Okay, uh, direct from the factories in Taiwan that manufactures their own caps. They're fantastic. I can, you know, like C, C, um, uh, SC capacitors. They're very good. Their axle caps are fantastic. I've used them and I, I just, yeah, you can buy them on eBay actually from a guy in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. And they're not cheap. Okay, they're not cheap. Simple. All right, okay, but you're paying for quality. Now, I mean, look, you know, I mean, I mean, look at that, you know, Nichicon, Elna, okay. As I said, yeah, you know, Hobby Elf supplies these. They're not again. He buys millions. That's why he gives a good price. There's a lot of manufacturers, uh, sorry, a lot of suppliers on eBay. <coughs> They're on eBay. Basically, um, they sub, uh, direct from America, I think one in Canada, and there's one in England. So there's three, America, Canada, and England, okay? I'm sorry, they do not supply, they do not, not supply made in Japan caps. And Hobby Elf can beat them. All right, okay, all right. Hobby Elf can beat them <clears throat> with Made in Japan caps. They do not supply Made in Japan caps. They're fake. Well, not fake, but I mean, you know, I mean, look, well, they are, in my opinion. If anything's made in China, it's fake. Doesn't matter if it's, um, uh, what they call it, branded uh, Nichicon and all that and all that, and they're uh, authorized to do it by the... Uh, by their manufacturers, like Elna and all that, and manufacturers in Japan, that owns the rights of those, of that name. Doesn't matter. I call them fake. That's all there is to it. So basically, uh, yeah, all made in Japan. Now he buys caps of us, uh, Hobby Elf. So uh, he started to put them on his website because some of the larger caps, I'm not gonna. I'll show you, but not not these. Some of the larger caps, uh, like um, okay, 18, 18,000 at 75, they're very hard to get. Very hard to get. And, and Japan, sometimes they'll produce them, sometimes they won't. If they produce them, he'll buy quantity, okay? Hobby elf. But basically, he's tested our caps and he, lo and he loves them. He's seen how it's manufactured and he said, these are bloody high end. These are like, you know, the um, uh, uh, 
the the Elna, um, oh, what do they call it? Silicon, silica, silica caps, which go and have a look how much they are, these caps, the large caps. So we only manufacture large caps, all right? Like 18,000, okay. He's ordered about, um, in every kit that he sold, uh, I think there's um, Yamaha, because he sells a lot of kits worldwide. He's got his own website, uh, which he's still trying to uh, put more stuff in his website, but at the moment he hasn't got the time. So the situation is that he does buy large caps and he knows that we don't supply smaller caps. It's, no, it's not our game. Uh, you know, we're not interested. Like, I'll give you an example, like something like this, okay? Something like this, nah, 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 nah. He can get those, that's not a problem. But there is caps out there, like 18,000 UF for 75, very hard to get. <clears throat> we manufacture them for him, okay? And he's trying to put in his kits, like, I know I noticed a couple of his eBay ads saying that uh, basically, if you, if you want made in Japan, you gotta wait six weeks, all right? Okay, or you can buy made in Australia. And you get, you know, 10 year warranty, which is, you get 10 year warranty from us. We'll give it to Hobby Elf and he'll pass it on to, uh, to his uh, buyer. And that's what we do. It's simple. You can't go wrong. I mean, 10 year warranty, you know, not even, uh, not even the manufacturers give you that. No, they don't, they're not going to give you that. Like if this one goes, where's the warranty? If this one goes in three years or one year, where's the warranty on this card? Yeah, you can keep the receipt, but they say, hang on. Oh, there is, you know, probably this, this circuit blew that. And they come up with a lot of uh, rubbish. And, you know, before they give you a new cap. And they, they, don't, they won't give you a new cap. Ours is unconditioned. 10-year warranty, you buy our caps. All right? And that's all there is to it. We sell them, look, we've got on our website and on our, um, um, what they call it, uh, on our eBay as well. You know, if you got a specific cap that you need done, it has to be the large caps. Look, minimum order for large caps, you know, you can't just buy two. No. I mean, four, okay, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll give you an answer straight away. All right? And that's all there is to it. Like, I just got an order from America, right? 100 caps, 100 capacitors. All right, okay, at to, uh, 22,000 UF, right, at 120 volts, it's a large cap, all right, 100 of them, all right, we're ready to ship it out on, on uh, Wednesday, they'll be ready. They take a little bit of time, that's it, because they're handmade, you know, hand-rolled, you know, with the machine, but hand-rolled, you know, it's not, yeah, so basically, and, you know, um, yeah, and shrink wrap them, things like that, you know, you gotta shrink them, nah, look. A lot of mucking around in, in, in caps, but, you know, we do it because it, it's not highly profitable, but we I do it because, I, I started it because I, you know, there's just, there is caps out there are hard to get, and I've done it because I'm getting sick of waiting for large caps, and also I might not get them. So, you know, uh, for my customers, so I've used a lot of caps for my customers' amps and, you know, never came back. None of them have come back yet. But if they do, hey, and the cap's blue or they're shorted or whatever, they lost their value, uh, yeah, 10-year warranty. And we keep the receipts, you know, we've got them on our system. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, so this will be replaced with... Uh, Again, I can manufacture these, but not for two. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. we do. Oh, no, not for two. There's no way I'll do it for two. No. It takes too much. I can do it exactly the same as this. But these are small little bubbers. And you check. I can do it exactly the same, same as these. See these? Look at that. They're big caps. But this is that. This is that. So, okay. <sighs> yeah. 
and that's it basically and yeah, hopefully it'll work once it uh once I, we uh finish then i'll put another video on this on this big boy all right so yeah it's been done this board has been cleaned done this one's been cleaned done all right still a little bit of flux in there but you know there's nothing not, not much so did the soldering on that this one has been done i always seal my uh my screws when we do them okay loctite them too i put a little bit of loctite not the hard one the the medium uh, level yeah do this board i'm gonna check this board you know see everything's working on that board check these valves that one they've already checked all right that's a new valve got two of them <coughs> so yeah from our stack so got plenty of valves and it's gone that's the one that's the uh that's the bad boy yeah that's not good that's not good there was a short on that one yeah so we replaced it with a new one all right so basically yeah so looks good so far he doesn't want it cleaned he just said well just send it to me as it is and i'll and i'll muck around with it all right got the original fan i think it's the original gotta check these transistors oh, that's the original. actually no that's yeah look because mm, dick smith yeah and there it is dicky smithy Good old Dick Smith, eh? Good on him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, now, yeah. everything, well, you, when he sold it, just ran it down and ah, you just don't, nah. Like radio parts, you go there, oh, hello, can we help you? Uh, have you got this? No, sorry, we can't. Okay, thank you. That's why I don't bother buying from radio parts anymore. I can't be bothered, nah, because I can get parts now. Nah, it's not worth it. Not like in the old days. Radio parts was one of the best. Was one of the best, you know? Yeah. So basically, yeah. yeah. And, don't, and don't modify them, people. Do not modify them. All right? I've got to check the speaker because I don't think it's working. If it's not, we've got plenty of those. There are eight ohms, nothing special. All right, so I've got to take that transformer off to get to the actual two big caps, desolder them, put new caps. So basically, yeah, and do not touch these. All right? All right? A lot of alignments in there. Don't touch it, people. I've seen a lot of them, you know, yeah, been touched. All right, so all right, so basically, that's it. That's basically it. Just put these. These are good caps. They last for a long, long time. All right. I mean, this shit, you know, resistor on that is good. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. 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 I mean, you know, I mean, hey, you know, they're old. There's a short. It doesn't read nothing. Actually, the, sorry, sorry, I'm wrong. Yeah, there's a short, but the 160 volts, working volts, perfect. All right? But it does fluctuate. It goes up and down, you know. So, um, so that's gone. It's a paper, uh, Paper cap, you know, foam cap, you know, the paper, yeah. Bloody heavy too. Yeah. So I usually replace them with those, so, you know, with uh, the polystyrene. All right, so. Or you can replace some polystyrene or, you know, yeah, nothing special.
all right so all right so gonna clean the actual um uh, relays i think there's two there uh, can be corrected on that or one yeah no it's two one there one there one right there and one there yep all right so we're gonna clean those out because usually they're dirty contacts they've been there a long time i mean this is uh what is it uh 68 isn't it these units 1968 all right <laughs> can you imagine 1968 that's a long time it's been used this has been really used at this unit not in bad condition but a nicks and nacks so but a nicks and nacks it's all right hey that's the love of it eh it's good that it was used and yes you need a license for these people all right any transceiver you need a license for all right all right so must admit i haven't got a license yeah my old man has a license it's still running but yeah he doesn't use it anymore so but hopefully i think you can take over i'm not too sure about it. i have to find out i'll find out from a couple of my mates that i know they've got ham radio license i think you can pass it on but you still got to do some bloody course or whatever but anyway, no problems. I don't mind. On my retirement. So, okay. So, been going too long this video. So, bye.